assistant professor from LJIT. So students, today we are discussing about our continuous chapter which is the design of plate cutter. Okay, so in the last lecture we will discuss up to our check we have to made up whenever we have to design any plate cutter. Okay, and you all know that plate cutter is a member which is finding out with the help of welding and bolting okay so students in the last lecture we have completed our lecture up to this slide okay so now we are moving further to the design step of plate cutter so students generally there is number of steps which you have to made whenever you have to design plate cutter but we are discussing about important main eight steps which is useful in your GTU exam point of view okay so students you all know that whenever you have to design any structural component your first step is to find out load on that member how much load is acting on that member okay so your step number one is load calculation okay after finding out load calculation the next step is to find out shear force and bending moment so you can see that your step number two is shear force bending moment your step number three, three. so students after finding out shear force and bending moment in step number two you have to made up or your choice you have to choice your selected section in such a way that your selected section will resist the maximum bonding moment and maximum shear force which is generated in step number two okay so in the third step you have to check and you have to choose your selected section but it is not compulsory to your selected section is safe or unsafe okay so this is your trial and error section so if you are choosing any structural member then you have to made up of check okay so from check from step number four to step number eight all the checks are required that if your selected section is safe or unsafe okay so your step number four is check for minimum wave thickness and this check is directly given in is codal provision of 800 2007 okay next is your step number five which is already discussed in our last two chapters okay so this is check for moment capacity so this check for moment capacity is given on page number 53 okay next is check for shear capacity of wave so students you all know that this is also a revision of your last two, two chapters which is the equation of VD the equation of VD is AV into F by W divided by root 3 into gamma M0 this equation is given on page number 59 of IS 800 2007 next step which is your step number 7 so this step is very most important because you have to check for shear buckling of wave okay so this shear buckling of check is finding out with the help of two methods first method is simple post critical method and the dis description of this method is given on page number 59 and on the very next page another method called as tension field method is also described on page number 60 so whenever there is any clarification regarding you have to use tension field method or simple post critical method then you have to solve your example depending on the data given but if there is no any clarification regarding which method you have to follow to solve these examples so you have to made up or you have to use simple post critical method okay because simple post critical method is much much more easier than tension field method so students this is your step number seven next and last member and last step is to check for anchor force in the end panels so 
it is already discussed that there is two types of stiffeners first is vertical stiffener and another is horizontal stiffener now in vertical stiffener there is another two types end panel or end bearing stiffener and another is intermediate stiffener now this end bearing stiffener takes some horizontal and vertical loads so that vertical load is called as anchor force it means your end stiffener is takes how much loads so this calculation will be calculated in your step number 8 okay so students after discussing all these design steps let us move further to our example number 1 which is the design of welded plate cutter it means you have to made up your plate cutter section with the help of welding okay so start design a welded plate cutter for a simply supported bridge deck beam it means your span is simply supported span with a clear span of 24 meter it means you have to design a plate cutter for a 24 meter span and this plate cutter subjected to 20 kN per meter excluding self weight of plate so students it is clear indication that your plate cutter subjected to UDL and subjected to dead load but this dead load is not including your self weight of plate cutter so first of all you have to find out self weight of plate cutter okay next is live load is 10 kN per meter and two concentrated load now what is the meaning of concentrated load so the meaning of concentrated load means point load it means if this is your plate cutter and having the span of 24 meter then this plate cutter subjected to two point load in the vertical direction having the value of 200 kN at which distance so you can see that at 6 meter from each end it means if this is 24 meter then one point load is acting at this plate this distance is 6 meter and at this point this distance is also 6 meter okay so students this is the data which is given now you have to assume that the top compression flange and it is already discussed that your plate cutter having three members two flange and one wave this is your top flange this is vertical member which is called as wave portion and this is your bottom flange okay so you have to assume that the top flange plate of plate gutter is restrained laterally and prevented from rotation it means your top flange doesn't need any rotation so you have to design your structural member in such a way that your top flange doesn't rotate okay use fe415 grade steel it means there is some mistake because in steel structure always fe410 available not a single time fe415 is available in the market okay design an unstiffened plate gutter thick wave now what is the meaning of unstiffened it means there is no any stiffener provided no horizontal stiffener provided as well as no vertical stiffener provided in the design of plate cutter okay so students let us start our example number one so you all know that first of all we have to find out self weight of plate cutter now what is the equation of self weight of plate cutter so it is already discussed that your self weight of plate cutter is find out from this equation which is small w is equal to capital w divided by 200 now 200 is constant now what is capital w so you can see that capital w means fact total factor load on gutter okay so total factor load on gutter which is equation is 20 plus 10 2 udl is acting throughout the span so you can see that 20 plus 10 which is equal to 30 
now this ulf is distributed on throughout the span and this throughout the span means 24 meter span so it is 30 into 24 but this 30 into 24 is your unfactored load so you have to design any structural component for a factor load and in the capital W it is compulsory called that your capital W is total factor load so it is 1.5 into 30 into 24 plus there is two point load having the value of 200 kilonewtons so 200 plus 200 total 400 kilonewtons vertical downward load is acting on the plate cutter but this load is your unfactor load so you have to find out factor load so it is 1.5 so students after calculating all the data your total factor load on girder is 1680 kN okay now you have to find out self weight which is your small w so what is the equation of small w the equation of small w is capital w which is 1680 divided by 200 so after putting all this value your self weight of girder is calculated at 8.4 kN per meter okay so this is 8.4 kN per meter so students now you have to add this self weight of girder in the calculation of dead load and live load now your total UDL is 20 which is already given in the question this 20 is the value of dead load 10 is your live load and 8.4 is your self weight of gutter it means total UDL which is acting on the plate gutter which is 38.4 kN per meter but this 38.4 is your unfactored load okay so your factor UDL is 57.6 kN per Now this 57.6 is round figure or nearly equal to also called as 58 kN per meter. This 58 kN per meter is given in your Atul Prakashan book but it is not compulsory that your 57.6 is round figure 58. Okay. You can also solve this example with the help of 57.6 kN per meter. Okay, both the methods is, is right. But you cannot solve this example with the help of 57.5. Okay, you have to design for the maximum load, not a minimum load. Now, next is factored point load. Point load means concentrated load so the value of concentrated load is given as 200 kN but this 200 kN is your unfactored load so your factored point load is 300 kN now you can see that with the help of data given and after calculating the self weight of the plate gutter your figure of plate gutter is like this in which you can see that the span is 24 meter this span is simply supported span that's why there is two reactions on the both ends which is called as RA it means reaction at A and second one is RB which is reaction at B now this 24 meter span is subjected to factored UDL of value 58 kN per meter so this is 58 kN per meter and another two point load it means two factored point load having the value of 300 kN at a distance of 6 meter from both the ends so you can see that this is 6 meter and this is also 6 meter so students as per data given and as per our calculation our step number one is completed okay so students in the today's lecture we have to completed our example up to step number one in the next lecture we have to discussing about maximum shear force and maximum bending moment which is generated on plate cutter and after that we have to design the plate cutter accordingly okay so students this is the end of today's session thank you